Apple Vision Pro. I'm going to attempt to play golf while wearing Vision Pro. Let's see if the golf game improves. Maybe it doesn't. We'll see, but until then, I'm going to show you all that Vision Pro has to offer, seeing if it's even wearable on the golf course, and then show you all the different features while playing. Here it is. So basically, I just found out about this thing and I don't really know anything about it. So I have to research a ton tonight. I have to turn it on, set it up, and really research everything that I can do on it so that tomorrow I can go through each different hole showing you guys a new feature you could use on the golf course. So tonight I gotta do a lot of research and find out what this thing can do. We'll see how this thing works and see if we can even use it on a golf course. All right guys, I may be the first person to ever do this. First person to swing a golf club with these things on and I have not had any practice, no warm up, no range session. We're here on the first hole. I'm gonna put these things on and get it started. Let's see what apps I can use while I'm actually playing. This should be fun, here we go. Gotta power them up. Okay, put them on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just put in the passcode and then I'm gonna start The first thing I'm gonna do while I play this hole is I'm going to watch my very own YouTube video. Now, they don't have the YouTube app on Vision Pro, but you could go through Safari and you could type in YouTube and I'm gonna watch my latest video while I play. Here we go. No, it's me. I haven't even signed in yet and it's suggesting all my videos. All right. We'll watch my most recent video. That's what we'll put on. All right, here we go. This is great. You can watch YouTube, you can watch the NBA app, you can watch a golf lesson while you're playing golf. I'm gonna drag it over here. I'm gonna place it right here so that when I swing, you can even see the shadow. It looks so 3D. So that when I swing, I'm watching. All right, here we go. First shot, never done this before. Right now, the camera over there <laughs> is right behind the screen. It's incredible. Okay. Here we go, I've literally never taken a swing with this. I don't know what to expect. I feel like I should try and make sure that everything's, okay. I'm really kind of scared, actually. Here we go. Let's see if I can hit it at all. Oh, I think, I think this actually may be pretty good. I'm not expecting much on this first shot, but I know I'm gonna get used to it. Here we go. I don't know where it went. Wait a second, where is it? First swing, not too great, definitely not my normal swing, but I made contact and my glasses didn't fall off my head. So that's all that matters. <laughs> so we are picking up the page and <laughs> moving into the next shot. It's crazy because the screen is so big, you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want. And even when, like, when I bring it closer, obviously, it, it becomes a little bit smaller, but the further away, I feel like, you know what I want to do, I want to try, I want to try throwing it like somewhere and see if it like, oh, it, it worked. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Second shot, press play, and I'm going to put the volume up so that I can hear it while I'm hitting. Okay, here we go. Wow, that is one way to do it. We're gonna have to get used to this. It's not impossible, but it's gonna take some work. It's definitely gonna take some work. All right, so I'm just gonna throw it up here, right in front of my putt. It's super smooth and super easy here. Hit play. I'm just gonna make the volume a little bit less while I putt. Now I gotta read this putt. So I'm gonna go up there, leave my tab over here, and it's gonna continue playing while I'm over here. I can still see the shadow right over there. It's still playing. But I gotta check out this putt. <laughs> see, everything darkens as well when you go onto YouTube and you're watching a video, everything around you darkens to make sure that you're focusing on the video, which can be a little bit tough when you're putting <laughs> and you're out on a golf course, everything's a little bit darker. So we got a long putt here. 
This is my first putt with these on. Let's see how it works. Seems a little left to right. Gotta definitely get it there without crushing it by the hole. If I can get speed right on this putt, I'm really happy. really long it's definitely hard this is not easy guys i'm i'm thinking i thought it was going to be a lot easier than this but then again it's my first hole and i've not done any practice with this so it's kind of like a test hole i mean obviously it's part of the video but it's like my warm-up another problem is like looking back and forth you still got the black around the corners and edges so it's not fully you can't fully see when you go back and forth Is that speed good? Okay, speed is good. I take that as a win. I take that as a win. It's dark, I got YouTube up. It definitely darkens it. Bogey on the first hole is way better than I expected. We gotta work on approach shots and get a little bit more used to depth perception, which I did say was gonna be the hard part. I think the only thing about the goggles flying off or feeling like they're gonna fly off is on the tee shot where you're hitting as hard as you can and that's when I felt like the Vision Pros were gonna fall off, but they didn't. So I should take that and remember that for the next hole. We are going to immerse ourselves with dinosaurs. So let's see how this works. Eight iron, 130 yards. Where is it? No, I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Here we go, immersive mode, encountering dinosaurs. Feel free to explore, stay aware of your surroundings. Okay, okay. It's turning on. I want the butterfly part to come up right as I'm hitting. The dinosaurs and the butterflies are supposed to react to you. Like you can put your hand out and feel like you're touching it. Here comes the butterfly right as I hit. Look how cool that is. You can put your finger out and it's supposed to like come towards you. Here we go. Yep, he landed on me. I feel like I should put him on the golf ball. Does that work? No. Come back, come back, come back. No. He left me. Come back. Nope. There he goes. I didn't see it at all. Okay, look. There's a little dinosaur. Wow. My favorite features about Apple Vision Pro is the immersive part of Apple Vision Pro because I feel like I'm literally there. I mean, I can literally like touch the dinosaur. It, it comes to me, it's so creepy. <laughs> That's so weird. Even though this immersive dinosaur app is kind of like a tab and then you feel like you're in it, there's another video on Apple TV that makes you feel like you're literally there, 360. I can't imagine what this is gonna progress to. Like, I feel like dinosaurs are gonna be literally on the golf course with me. Movies are gonna be shot like this. It's incredible. Put my hand out and it'll come to me. It's so weird. Oh my gosh. It feels, I, I know it's not there, but it feels like it is. Oh, oh. It's actually scaring me. I know that there's a lot of glasses and goggles that are not Apple that show you your line when you're putting. They may kind of put that in Apple Vision Pro. And so I'm really excited to see like the headset read my putt as I walk up. Like I know that that's gotta be the future. That's gotta happen. So they may make Vision Pro improve your game when developers get in the apps and everything. So this may be crazy. Right now, it's kind of hurting my game. <laughs> Come back. Come back. It's not horrible. I will take two out of two greens on the first two holes. I had two greens of regulation. Now, they weren't pretty shots. They weren't good looking shots but no one knows how I got there, except if you're watching YouTube. This is gonna be really hard. These putts are already hard in real life, and now I got this headset on. So I'm gonna say right there, 
But again, I can't really read brakes that well. So if they do make some sort of software that reads the putts for you, that will definitely be ha uh, a lot better. See, this is, this is why it's hard. This is why it's hard. The headset does move when you look down. It moves a lot. So that's really what I'm struggling with, with the putting is when I look up or down, when I look at the putt, it kind of moves like this. Gotta make something that holds the Apple Vision Pro in place a little bit better. Cause I feel like I'm bobbing up and down with this thing on just like a regular VR headset. I know that happens a lot on VR headsets. But this is not helping my golf game yet, but I know that I wanted to be the first one to try it. And I know eventually it, it's gotta, it's got to help your golf game at one point. I'm going to play a game while I'm playing golf. I'm going to play Super Fruit Ninja. I'm actually awful at this game. <laughs> Look how, this is crazy. I mean, it is so virtual. Just turn around, it's completely 3D. It's amazing. It turns your environment into like some grassy area. I mean, I feel like I'm in that world. It's kind of crazy. While it's loading, I'm gonna tee off. Ooh, it's really cool. I'm gonna take a shorter backswing. I feel like that's gonna help me. I think that one was good. It felt good. I don't know where it went, but it felt good. That's the problem. You can't see where it goes. Oh, I'm better than last night. Play. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm much better than I was. And you do it like this. You don't like pinch it. You really kind of cut in half, cut in half. It comes flying everywhere. I wonder if I could use my golf club. Would that work? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it doesn't work. It literally feels like they're flying at you. Like, and you could like, Hold it, you could throw one, but you're supposed to cut it in half. You can literally touch them almost. It's cr this is probably the coolest, most like, not realistic, but most 3D of all the apps that I've seen. Here's the real test. Obviously up till now, my swings and shots have not actually been what they usually are without the headset. But now I have a 40 yard shot over a bunker with barely any green. This is really gonna test my ability because this shot is already like one of the hardest shots in golf and now I gotta pull it off with these things on. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm really scared for this one, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I should go like, so I'm gonna shore my backswing because we already talked about that. Whoa, whoa. Wow, it's a lot of fins and skulls going on with this thing. I feel like, it does feel like the club is, it's already at the ball, but the club is like really here. So the depth perception is way off. Not way off, but it's definitely off just a split second. And when you're hitting a golf ball, that split second makes a big difference. I don't know if that's good or not, I can't really tell. See, the depth perception is way off. Like, I don't know if that's way past the hole or pin high. Oh my goodness. All right, bogey, bogey, bogey. Obviously not my real golf game. I've played three holes walking, and I'm not gonna lie, it definitely hurts your eyes after a while. I don't know if it's the bobbing up and down when I'm walking, or if it's just the visual strain on my eyes. I don't know if it's, just after wearing them a while, it kind of hurts. I don't know, but it's starting to it's starting to get me. And also, I made three bogeys on the last three holes, so I'm gonna take a breather. I'm gonna go into the Mindful app, and before we tee off, I'm gonna go into mindfulness mode. Except I can still hear the tractor. Relax as much as you can. Find a comfortable position where you feel at ease. It's hard to be mindful when there's a golf cart over there making so much noise. It 
It's hard to relax when there's... <laughs> Notice your body breathing all on its own. Nothing to do or change. I'm proud of that shot, actually. I hit it a little bit behind the ball, but I think I got it up in the air. I don't know if it's on the green, but that was a, it was up in the air. So I'm gonna take it. It's, it's not super heavy. A lot of people have been saying it's heavy. I don't feel like it's heavy at all. It's more just the strain of like blurred edges. And then kind of, if you, if you look at something, it focuses. Come on, go, go. Oh, that was not good speed at all. Oh my goodness. Wow, maybe putting's harder than I thought it was gonna be. Feature I think is gonna be really incredible and also a total new era for Apple. The fact that you can videotape your surroundings, not screen record, you videotape your surroundings and it feels like a memory. It literally feels like you're in, put back in that exact moment. After filming with spatial video, you could go back into your videos and it feels like you're back in that exact moment of time. It feels like you take a 360 capture video of that moment in time. So I'm gonna do that on this hole and then watch it back and feel like I hit the exact same shot. We are now taking a video playing golf and I'm gonna be able to relive this hole again later. And if I play bad, I probably won't want to relive this hole. I mean, I think that was good if it didn't pull. I think that was pretty good. All right, we're back videotaping. Here we go. Problem is if you're playing golf and you're recording, it's all black on the edges. So you only kind of get a little bit of room. Right there is the amount of room of clear color and I can't see the flag at all. I have no idea where that went. I have no idea where that went. I'm thinning the ball completely because of the depth perception. Like it feels like the club's at the ground and it's always short. It's, it, I'm thinning it, but I'm getting on the green. I'm ending up in a perfect position every single time, except I'm absolutely hitting terrible shots. <laughs> wow, that is super close. Okay, so I think my line is right here. Come on, be good. Be good. Be good. I'll take it. It's a little long, but I'll definitely take that. All right, first par, there we go. First par. And we caught it all on video. When we watch it back, I know we're gonna feel like we're actually here. It is possible to make a par with the Apple Vision Pro. Guys, this is actually kind of hurting. This is hurting a lot. And so I'm not gonna make it nine holes. We're gonna go six holes, this is the last hole. And on this hole, I'm gonna FaceTime my grandpa. It's nine o'clock in the morning, he's definitely up. He gets up at like five o'clock in the morning. So he's probably already started his day and he is going to FaceTime me. We're gonna do FaceTime on the last hole, par five. Short par five, I think it's like 4.50 or something like that. Gotta. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You. I see you. I'm gonna put you right here. I'm gonna hit the shot while you're on FaceTime right now. Not horrible. Not horrible shot. Here we go. I didn't see it. All right, Kata, here we go. Very hard to play golf in, but I'm doing it and I'm, I, I'm three over on four holes. <laughs> I hit three out of four greens though. So it's the, it's the putting. I thought that was gonna be the easiest, the putting, but it's super hard. So I'm gonna put Gutter right behind the hole. Now you can't really see my putt, but <laughs> I'll put you right behind the hole. There we go. And now you're right behind the hole while I putt. Okay. Let's make a putt. 
Wow, it's, it's like a it's like a 25 footer, 30 footer. Yeah, all I gotta do is two putt because I I've only two putt once so far. I'll tell you if it goes in, gutty. You gotta celebrate. Come on, be good, be good. Oh, that was the closest putt I had. All right, good par. Nice. One handed putt, nice little tap in birdie. Par, sorry. Par. And there we go. Call you back later, okay? Bye. Bye. That was one of my favorite features, I'm not gonna lie. That was probably the best. We are gonna do a little recap showing you guys the memory video that we took on, on the last hole. And we're gonna show you guys the PGA Tour app. We're gonna try and do a little overview and get to the things we didn't discuss um, in a couple seconds. We're gonna go do that. A little awkward. I'm gonna walk in on Apple Vision Pro. People must think I'm crazy. Especially being like the first person at a golf course with these things on. <laughs> Overall, if we want to talk about golf game, it's a two out of ten. I mean, I'm surprised I, I'm shocked I play the way that I did because I it was extremely difficult. Developers have a long way to go to make golf more immersive. Also, you will draw a lot of attention. So if you want to get those on the golf course and draw attention this is what you want to get. The navigation on yardage, I was going to open the shot scope app, which had yardage and everything. But the problem is, is that you need Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi out on the golf course is not that great. So I did have to sacrifice on that. I had to sacrifice on the PGA Tour app because I needed Wi-Fi as well. But searching on Safari was totally fine. I was able to watch YouTube videos. I feel like I'm holding it, that's crazy. All right, this is me about to take my shot. I just think like I'm right there. Wow. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's different because I'm like this, so it's not like I'm straight up. I'm just kind of looking down. Okay, now I'm gonna open up the PGA Tour app. Full model of hole 16. It's like you wanna reach out and touch it. It's crazy. You can see his entire scorecard, his greens regulation, strokes game, putting, all that stuff. If you wanna know the statistics, it's right here on the PGA Tour app. It's definitely room for improvement. If you want to look cool and draw a lot of attention, this is what you wear. But other than that, it's not helping my golf game any. And it's probably, it's making it a lot worse actually. And also, the fact that you could play games like while you're waiting on the tee box, but then again, you could do that with your phone. So, I don't know. If you want to have that extra immersive 360 view, then Apple Vision Pro is for you. If the glasses were super light and weren't heavy on your head and didn't hurt your eyes, um, like regular glasses, then I would say this is amazing. If it was also a lot cheaper, I'd say this is incredible, go get one. But I don't know if it's that great yet. I definitely see a future in this and I definitely know that Apple's gonna make a ton of improvements. Hopefully there's gonna be some sports features and things to enhance your game, not just golf, but any sport. That's the Apple Vision Pro review playing golf.